Unraveling of Bold and Beautiful's Katie. A deadly path and unthinkable betrayals exposed. If there was one word to describe a lot of what went down on Bold and Beautiful this week, it might be disrespectful. Whether it was Ridge seamrolling Steffi, Hope putting the moves on Finn, or Katie butting into Bill and Poppy's relationship, lines were crossed and bad decisions made all over the place. Oh, also, we've totally figured out who the killer is and who it isn't, no matter how hard they're trying to convince us otherwise. Read on for the details. I'll give Ridge credit for this much. He at long last accepted the blame for a lot of the pain Steffi and Thomas went through because of his ping-ponging between Taylor and Brooke. As Steffi went in full-blown Logan-hater mode, her dad suggested that he, not Brooke, was the person who broke up their family. It was a rare moment of self-awareness from Ridge, which he then went on to completely obliterate. Has Steffi been a tad extreme in her reactions of late? Sure, but the woman has a lot to deal with right now. The last thing she needed was Dad and co-CEO Ridge completely ignoring her feelings about the Brooks bedroom line. This coming on the heels of him overruling her decision to axe the hope for the future line made it feel as if he's completely in charge while she's there to do the busy work. It wouldn't have been difficult to compromise on the whole Brooks bedroom line. Why not use Monte Carlo as an opportunity to highlight women of all shapes, sizes, and colors? Have Brooke be the spokesperson introducing a bevy of models. Heck, why not use this as an opportunity to bring back much-missed Maya? Or maybe Zoe, who as far as we know is still a Forrester model, currently working at the international branch in Paris. For that matter, they could have Paris become one of the new models, which would no doubt take off hope. I was sort of hoping that maybe Brooke would suggest that they use the relaunch of the bedroom line to make Hope the new spokesperson. Literally walking in her mother's barely clad footsteps could finally trigger the full-on emergence of the alternate personality it feels like Hope's been developing over the past year. How fun would that be? Sticking with the theme of characters showing a complete lack of respect for one another, let's move on to Hope and Finn. Yes, both of them because this week saw Hope basically throwing herself at the hunk, despite knowing he's happily married. While Finn didn't bother to tell Steffi about the release from prison of his, say it with me, biological mother. Now I understand him not wanting to admit he was with Hope when he got the news. But Finn waltzed into the main office at Forrester, flirted with Steffi, made out with her a bit, and never bothered to tell her the Sheila news. Instead, she found out via a text from her dad. I have loved Katie Logan for as long as I can remember. Longtime viewers will recall that when Bold and Beautiful began, Katie, then played by Nancy Sloan, seen below with Catherine Kelly Lang's Brook, was the proverbial ugly duckling who lived in the shadows cast by her older, more glam sisters. At her core, the character has never lost that insecurity, even as she has grown and changed over the years. Lately, however, I've been wanting to throttle Katie, or perhaps more accurately the writers who are crafting her behavior. First, she dumped Carter for no reason and off-screen. Then she suddenly seemed to redevelop feelings for Bill, seemingly prompted by nothing more than his moving on. More recently, she's begun barging into Bill's house. Does nobody on this show know how to lock a door? and in keeping with this week's overall theme, being downright disrespectful to Poppy. I think what really bothers me about this is that, as I mentioned before, Poppy has undergone a complete, and completely unmotivated, change. Why? So that Katie can be suspicious of her. In the case of both women, the show is putting plot above character, which is a major no-no in soaps. Viewers invest a whole lot of time getting to know the characters, when they suddenly begin acting oddly, we immediately recognize it. While that happens pretty regularly on this particular soap, this case is especially egregious. I mean they've gone so far as to have Poppy trade her hippie-style clothing for leather skirts and tight-fitting tops. I have to admit I'm really into the Who Killed Tom and Hollis storyline. This show isn't particularly good at mysteries, and we still have to see if they can stick the landing. That said, it's moved fairly quickly and created a fun little guessing game, 